Hello uh, BrewTubers, it's uh, Zanny Brew here and there's nothing much happening in the cellar at the moment. Um, the uh, woodworm treatment um, is drying so I'm busy um, right with a dehumidifier on down there taking out all the moisture in there. Um, it's awaiting to be varnished but before I can do that, her upstairs, and yes she's upstairs, um, she uh, can't get to know about this because between you and me, if somebody at her work that watches these videos, I've only just started. Now if she finds out that I'm going to do what I'm going to do, then I'll be scuppered. So I'm going to video it and you can see that part um, of the uh, cellar build taking place. Um, so updates really, uh, what's new? I've now um, started ordering parts for the control panel. So I've now ordered the temperature uh, PIDs and the uh, timer. I've got the box ordered and I managed to get um, a second hand great big heat sink. Um, so that's gonna fit in there. So that's the first part of it. I am now waiting for the sink. So I'm waiting for the supplier to get them back in stock. As you noticed from the previous video, they're out of stock. So I'm, I'm told they're waiting for a shipment in and it's any day now probably six months day now but I will trust them and, and see where we go from there so I'm just waiting for that um, I need to get the, uh, the floor um, um, with some vinyl flooring put down so that, that needs to go down and fix the, fix the suspended ceiling um, and put the new lights in so I then can move on to the um, really build uh, once I get there. But in the meantime, I've got no beer. So I've had to resort to the old trick of going down to the supermarket and buying some bottles of booze um, to put me on until I can brew my own. As I'm from Yorkshire, it's not surprising. I am tasting Yorkshire beer made with good old Yorkshire water. And the one that's uh, here today is as you can see, it's the um, it's from Barnsley Brewery, well, it's, well, it's in Barnsley, and it's, as you can read on the label, Acorn Brewery. And I'm sampling the Old Moor Porter. So I've had it um, in the fridge for a little while. As you can see, it's got a little bit of condensation on there. So we'll be glass out of the way. I'll just give you a current temperature of that. Now, I am at... About 10.5. I don't know if you can see that, that 10.5. Yeah. So that's kind of like in between what you should taste a porter at, between 7.5 and 12.5. So I'm all in between there. Now, I know some of you collect these tops. So if anybody you anybody wants these tops, shoot me a message and I will do my best to uh, get them to you. Let me collect a few for you while I'm doing these Yorkshire brew tastings. And we'll go from there. Right, no further ahead. Let's crack this open, trying to preserve it with the old two pence trick from um, Yorkshire Homebrew. Um, it was one of my first subscribers, so a bit of a shout out there. Um, let's take this off and see where we go with this taste. And this is my first review, so I ho hope you'll uh, forgive me if it's quite rough around the edges. But let's see, let's get some of this aroma. Mm. Now then, what does the label say? The label says it's um, it's a full-bodied porter, rich malty hints of licorice. So let's see what we can get there. It's made with Maris Otter um, and Crystal Pale Chocolate and Black. And it's made with UK Challenger. Now then, Barnsley Brewery, Old Corn Brewery. Doing a good one there. I like the Challenger. Right, let's give it a um, pour in the glass and see uh, what this looks like. And there we go. Get a nice head, see if it retains the head. It doesn't look like it's going to do that. No, there we go. Right, let's do the old um, stiffery do test. 
past that right now. I can certainly smell the licorice. Mmm. And let's have a look here. Oops, beer mat attached. There we go. Nice and dark, so definitely porter style. Let's have another smell so I can get. So I've got the licorice. Can I get anything else? The licorice is more, um, and you, you've got the chocolate in the background. So um, that's it. So let's dive in for the old tasting. And uh, let's see how we, uh, we're doing with that. So. Instantly, very malty on there. The, um, the chocolate and the licorice, the kind of fighting in there. But the licorice, as I mentioned before, in the smell is kind of pushing, pushing through more. But there's not much in it. Let's have a, another test. See if I can get anything else. It lingers, that's really nice. It's uh, nice on the palate. The mouth feels really nice. As you can see, it's not holding much with the old uh, head retention on there. Um, that's about it. I like that one, it's um, it's nice. Um, it'll be like a good old um, session beer. I do like my porters, and I could, I could have a, a few of those. And that's my beer review, sampling Yorkshire beer. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm no expert when it comes to tasting. I am just getting into all grain um, brewing. And my uh, tasting is... So I need to get more technical. So um, if, if you know any other Yorkshire brews that I can taste, feel free to put it in and provided I can source them uh, local to where I am, I'll give them a go. Thank you for watching uh, this, I hope you sub subscribe, there's a subscribe button just there and uh, keeping from my updates, I'll be putting some more um, brewery build updates on. I'm not in a particular rush and um, my target is sometime this year. So any between now and the end of the year and hopefully I'm kind of hoping for October, November to have everything completed. So I will be putting periodic videos out from there and you can follow me on my brewery build. All the best and mash on.